like what you just saw in the opening. The photo slice effect that is made with photos can be used in the beginning of a vlog to improve the visual pack of the video. Thus, in today's video, we will show you how to use VidiPro Vlogger to create this photo slide effect. So if you are interested in this one, keep watching. First, open VidiPro Vlogger. Import all the photos we prepared. Then based on the number of the photos, Add the corresponding overlay track and then import the background material. Let's import the background material into the video track. Then use ripple edit to adjust the length to the right length. Next, we we'll start working on the photos. First, put all the photos into the overlay track in order. and to make all the photos in the same scale. We need to crop each photo, select a photo, and click Crop to enter the Crop Editor. Choose 16 to line. Of course, you can also choose a 4 to 3 size. Adjust the position of the crop to keep more information of the image. Next, we process each photo in this way. After that, let's group the photos. To make it easier to adjust the timeline, you can move your mouse to this position while doing this step. When the mouse becomes like this, drag the timeline window upwards to enlarge it. Here we put them in sets of three and put them in a staggered group like this. Once the grouping is complete, we start to resize and reposition the photos. Adjust the position of the three photos Make the photo at the top of the timeline the smallest, at the bottom of the timeline the largest in size. Note that the size of the largest picture should be larger than that of the screen. Then, place each of them like this. Expose the corner area and put them in two corners. After finishing one group, we continue to process the next group. But the position should go in the opposite direction of the previous group. For example, the previous group is placed on the bottom left and top right. Then, this group should then be placed on the top left and bottom right. Process a third group which goes in the same direction as the first group. Next, let's get the photo moving. First, use ripple added to adjust the duration of the photo. Adjust the first group to about 4 seconds. Click on the photo at the top of the timeline. Find the Fade and Move in Inspector on the right. Select the mode in the moving direction based on the direction of the photos. For example, this is the direction of the photos here. Then, choose to enter from the bottom left. Next, adjust the moving direction of the other two photos in the same group to ensure that they enter the field in the same direction. But the duration should be adjusted to 0.1 second interval. Next, adjust the second group, also based on the direction of the photo alignment to choose the direction of the entry and the duration in 0.1 second interval. Next, hold Ctrl and click on the three photos in the second group in turn. Let them overlap with the first group in the timeline. Drag the playhead. Find a point at which your photos cover the screen. Use Ripple Edit to end the first set of image here. Follow this method for the third group. Next, let's 
add some details. You can add a border to the photo. Click on the border in effect. Add effect track. Then, find a scope in inspector. Uncheck apply to canvas. And check all the materials except for those in the video track. Then, you can add blur to the two largest and smallest photos in each group to create an out-of-focus feeling. Select the photos. Check the enable image delosing. Adjust the edge threshold. Finally, you can also add an effect track and add a colorful bubbles effect. This completes the creating of the photo slides effect. Well, this is all for today's video. And if you want to know more about other other tricks or what has been going on with VidiPro Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe to channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.